hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about supplements fertility supplements or prenatal supplements that you can take to boost your fertility and increase your chances of conceiving so i hope you guys find this video helpful if you are new to my channel hi there welcome here my name is nosa i'm a mom of three and on my channel i make motherhood and lifestyle videos i also do share some fertility tips that have helped me to conceive my babies and also some pregnancy tips motherhood tips if you love topics like this then this is the place for you i would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my youtube family and hopefully you like it here all right guys let's get right into it so supplements in general are not considered as medicines no they are not meant to cure or diagnose or treat any kind of uh, medical issues that you may have so if you have any health issues if you have any fertility issues that is something you want to see a doctor for to be diagnosed and be treated folic acid is not going to treat pcos okay all right so basically prenatal uh, supplements or prenatal supplements are a blend of vitamins minerals and herbs that helps to provide your body with adequate essential nutrients that is needed in your diet so as a woman who is trying to conceive there's a certain amount of nutrient levels that you should be getting in your diet every day and sometimes the food that we eat are not able to give us the full dose, the full amount of these nutrients. So that is why you want to go get some, you know, multivitamins, some prenatal supplements to supplement, to fill up the parts that your food is not able to give you. So according to researches, supplements are essential for female reproductive health. They can also help to regulate your menstrual cycle and ovulation, thyroid function, energy production, your immune function, and they are also a good way of preparing your body, making it a good environment for a healthy pregnancy to occur. So these are all the reasons why you should be taking some prenatal supplements if you are trying to conceive. All right, I'm gonna go on to give you guys a list of some of the most important prenatal supplements that you should be taking right now if you are trying to conceive. And the first one on my list, which I think you guys already know, is folic acid folic acid or folate contains a group of b9 vitamins and according to researches it has been shown to increase the rate of fertility in women folic acid or taking folic acid can help to form new cells that are needed to support a healthy pregnancy and according to researchers again taking folic acid has also been shown to reduce the risk of some birth defects in babies or infants unfortunately some babies are born with some birth defects like new tract tubes spinal cord issues uh, brain issues and from researches it has been shown that some of those mothers those pregnant mothers were deficient in folic acid so you know to prevent issues like this to prevent a baby being born with you know spinal cord issues and all of that you want to start taking some folic acid before you even get pregnant it is safe to take before you get pregnant it is safe to take during pregnancies okay there are many ways to get folic acid into your body apart from supplements apart from going to the store to buy it as medicine and drinking it you can get it from your food you can get it from dark leafy greens dark vegetables like spinach kale broccoli i don't know the part of the world where you're watching me from but i'm sure you have dark vegetables in your country okay those are the vegetables you should be eating as far as i know a lot of dark leafy grains are very safe to eat if you're trying to conceive but if you are taking any kind of medications already maybe you have some fertility issues then check with your doctor to make sure that this new vegetable you want to start eating is, is safe for you okay okay now. so that is the first one on my list taking some folic acid and number two will be iron now iron is not considered as one of the top uh, prenatal supplements you should be taking if you are trying to conceive but i will consider it as number two because in my first pregnancy i suffered from low levels of iron i had severe anemia because i didn't even know it was something i should be taking so i'm going to put it as number two on my list so iron helps to create red blood cells which carries oxygen to your tissues your body tissues your organs including your reproductive organs according to researches iron deficiency can cause problems when you're trying to conceive it can make it harder for you when you are trying to conceive so you want to up your iron game and i just want to say this as a woman or as women i know a lot of you watching me are, are women as women our bodies experience a lot we go through menstruation we go through ovulation and if you have ever had a baby you go through labor and delivery you experience bleeding you know you release a lot of 
toxins and stuff out of your body and that is a lot every month every cycle we are just you know we are losing stuff so you need to replenish you need iron you need new blood you need your cells to be strong and functioning if you are trying to conceive or just to live a healthy life every day so apart from taking supplements there are other ways to boost your iron levels and that will be from the foods that you eat and example of those foods are meats red meats so like your goat's meat your beef and all the red meats out there another one is chicken you want to eat a lot of chicken personally i prefer chicken over red meat okay red meat can come with a lot of can bring some complications sometimes so i just prefer chicken another one is fish you want to eat a lot of fish another one is egg one or two eggs a day will not kill you another one is beans soy beans especially and the last one on my list are dark leafy greens that we just talked about spinach kale and all the dark, dark leafy greens around you so these are some ways you can up your iron levels okay number three is calcium calcium supplements so this is a mineral that's not just important for you it is also very important for your baby taking calcium can help to strengthen your bones your teeth your muscles and also that of your baby that's when you eventually get pregnant or if you are currently pregnant so calcium as a supplement is very safe to take when you are trying to conceive and also during pregnancy women who take calcium are less likely to experience ovulatory disorders or infertility and yes you can also get calcium from the food you eat you can get it from milk and cheese you can get it from almonds you can get it from sardines you know fish and you can also get it from dark leafy greens you can see how dark leafy greens keep appearing everywhere calcium is in dark leafy greens iron is in dark leafy greens uh folic acid also in dark leafy greens so you see how important vegetables are for your health and fertility so yeah that's another way of boosting your calcium levels if you don't have this food then you want to go get them now okay another one another very important supplement that's recommended for women who are trying to conceive is iodine iodine so this is a mineral that according to researches it produces hormones that are responsible for regulating various enzymes in your body which is required for life it also helps with, with cell division with metabolism with growth and development of cells in your body it helps to boost immune function it helps with, with ovulation it helps to repair body tissues it helps with your mental state it can also help with weight with weight management to maintain your weight and some of the ways to get iodine into your diet is from iodized salt I know some people cook with cook with uh, iodized salt that is very good if you're trying to conceive maybe you want to switch to some iodized salt it can also be gotten from seaweed it can be gotten from fish especially cod fish if you are from nigeria i'm sure you know stock fish stock fish is cod fish but dried to become you know like hard rock so if you are eating some stock fish that means you're eating some iodine you're getting some iodine into your body so these are some ways to get uh, to increase your iodine levels and okay the next one number five is something that i recently just came across this one i don't think i've ever gone to the store to buy it with my money and take a supplement no but i found out that it is one of the top top supplements that is you know that can boost a woman's fertility and chances of getting pregnant and it is called coenzyme coenzyme this is i have never seen this before i would like for you guys to actually write it down and you know when you go for your next uh, appointment bring it up with your doctor and ask if it is safe for you to take so coenzyme or q10 is naturally produced by our bodies it has been shown to improve fertility for women it is found in many foods especially meat or fish it has been shown to improve egg quality thicken your uterine lining and as we age our body our body's production of this mineral starts to slow down so taking it as a supplement buying it or taking it as a supplement is the way to boost uh to boost this mineral in your body it has also been shown to protect eggs from damaging which can make it harder to conceive so there's a lot that this supplement offer and like i said you want to write it down i'm going to put a name on the screen you want to write this down and the next time you go for your appointment bring it up with your doctor and just ask if it is safe for you to take okay i don't know if it is if it has to be prescribed or if it is sold over the counter honestly i don't know this but it, it has so many health benefits you know especially for your fertility and i had to include it in my list the next supplement you should be taking right now if you're trying to conceive is fish oil it is also called omega-3 fatty acid or dha these are the names you will see 
in the box of the of the container or whatever when you go to the store so fish oil is one of the most important minerals that you need in your body if you are trying to conceive you need it for you know to regulate your hormones you need it to protect your eggs you need it for better egg quality taking fish oil during pregnancy can help to support the growth of your baby's eyes brain and nerve system so it is very important for women who are trying to conceive and women who are pregnant to take some fish oil some omega-3 fatty acid and some and i am not talking about the oil that you use to fry fish no so some ways that you can get uh, this fish oil is by eating certain types of fish examples are salmon fish salmon fish salmon fish is very common here we can also find it in sardines so when you open sardines you know that's oil in there that is a good one okay so that is one way to get fish oil another one is for mackerel i know that king mackerel is not healthy for women who are trying to conceive and even during pregnancy king mackerel the big one the male fish male mackerel is not safe okay but other types of mackerel fish are safe one is walnuts walnuts you can get it from walnuts you can get it from canola oil if you cook with canola oil you can also get it from soybean oil so these are some foods that you can get uh, omega-3 fatty acid fish oil from and i hope you wrote those down another one is zinc zinc so this is something that both you and your partner should be taking zinc is very important for men because it helps with uh, sperm quality now some sources of zinc are beef you can also get it from poultry like chicken turkey you can get it from oysters and you can get it from beans those are four very common foods apart from oysters beef chicken beans are very common foods you can find around you eat it feed your partner with it and hopefully you know that increases your chances of conceiving okay the last three on my list are three vitamins that you don't want to joke with if you are trying to conceive and the first one is vitamin c vitamin c i know we talked a lot about this last week when we talked about fruit for fertility but i'm just going to say a few words on it so when it comes to taking iron as a supplement sometimes it is difficult for iron to to get absorbed into your body that is something that i experienced you take iron and then you get constipated you can't you just feel so bloated you can't go to the bathroom so a good way to help your iron to absorb very well into your body is to take some vitamin c it can help to absorb iron better it can help to support healthy skin healthy teeth and healthy gums and it can also help to protect your body from diseases and some easy ways to get vitamin c is citrus fruits you want to take a lot of oranges tangerines grapefruits you can also get uh, vitamin c from bell peppers you can get it from strawberries or berries that we talked about last week and you can also get it from dark leafy greens vegetables you see vegetables don't ever joke with them don't ever joke with them okay the next one is vitamin d go outside and get some sun just sit outside <laughs> vitamin d is a good way to promote bone health so you want to go outside and get some sunlight that's in, that's natural vitamin d but there are other ways to get vitamin d into your body and that will be from the food you eat of course so you can get it from some fatty fish like salmon fish and tuna fish you can also get it from beef liver you can get it from egg yolk you can get it from uh, vitamin D milk. So if you are trying to conceive, you don't just want to be drinking any kind of milk because it is delicious. You want to check to see if it has vitamin D. The one my, my kids, you know, my family, they, the one they take is vitamin D milk because they need it. My kids need it for their bone uh, development. They need it for strong bones, strong teeth and all of that. So yeah, those are some ways to get vitamin D and, you know, boost your vitamin D levels. Okay, the last one on my list, the last supplements, uh, prenatal supplements, that you need to boost your chances of conceiving boost your fertility is vitamin e vitamin e it can help to improve the quality of your eggs and help the eggs to stay attached to your uterine wall and that can also mean decrease the risk of miscarriage so sometimes sometimes from my understanding uh an egg can get fertilized the egg gets fertilized in your fallopian tube so the egg can get fertilized and then that egg will go down to your uterus that's where it's supposed to stay so when it gets to your uterus it's supposed to attach itself to the wall of your uterus when when that happens that means pregnancy has occurred but then when it goes down there and it doesn't it doesn't attach it gets in there but it doesn't attach then that can be considered as miscarriage or 
just no pregnancy at all so you want your egg to go to your uterus and stay there and attach itself to the wall of your uterus and from researches having enough vitamin e in your body can make that happen so you want to if you want to get some vitamin e whether a supplement or from your food and some of the sources of vitamin e is from red bell peppers you can also get it from mangoes you can get it from avocados you can get it from nuts i'm talking about walnuts peanuts um cashew nuts pistachios you can get it from soybeans you can get it from dark leafy green i think dark leafy green has to be the mvp of this of this whole list i mean it's just everywhere and having enough vitamin e in your body can reduce the risk of preeclampsia or premature birth so this is for women who are pregnant so during pregnancy if you lack uh, enough vitamin e in your body it can lead to certain complications like you know preeclampsia or you know the risk of having a premature baby or premature delivery so you want to have enough of this whether you're trying to conceive or whether you are pregnant yeah, those are about 10 10 or 9 uh, supplements that we have talked about today these are some very good supplements you should be taking to boost your fertility and increase your chances of conceiving but uh, before I close out this video I want to emphasize this your, your diet your main diet the foods you eat every day are still very important you cannot be eating all the wrong foods and then you know you know hoping that the supplements will do the magic for you no you still want to be on a good healthy diet okay that is very very important both for you and your and your baby that's when you eventually get pregnant so yeah before you start taking any of the supplements we've talked about today please see your healthcare provider see your doctor and you know let them know let them know about these new supplements that you have found before you start taking them into your body all right guys that will be it for today's video i hope you guys found this video very helpful if you did then you know what to do please give it a massive thumbs up drop a comment down below if you have any questions you can drop it there as well i will always try my best to answer you and uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't already share this video with a friend of yours it would mean a lot to me thank you guys for always being here i appreciate you all and i will see you in my next one